Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo 2020, confusion as PDP chieftain plus support for APC candidates. Ah, ah. Now, wow, this election is fierce, so my people, hmm. a lot is going on. Oh. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. We want to say a very big thank you for your huge, massive, continuous support. We truly appreciate you and God bless you. My people, there is confusion as we speak in Edo State, in the political uh, arena and certain. Why? A PDP chief team. Is pledging support for APC candidates. Ah, ah. Now, wow. This Edo uh, state, <laughs> there is something peculiar about you people. Don't forget that uh, Governor Godwin Obaseki is going to be flying the PDP flag come September uh, 19 for the governorship candidates in the APC. Uh, in a, in a, in a, and why APC candidate is the person of Pastor Ize Iyamu. Well, uh, these two people have emerged as the winners of their party. But Governor Gordon Baseki, there is a little bit of um, taste in time. Why? He was initially with the, uh, um, the APC party, but the APC party screened out the one-time governor who was screened successfully in his first tenure saying that he was not qualified as a matter of fact the guy quickly went to another party in nigeria there is no law stopping anyone from doing that and the the party he went into has now given him the ticket on a platter of gold everybody quitting and leaving the governor to take over that is what is happening but the twist in time our apc chief team is pledging support for uh, a PDP chief team pledging support for apc candidates let's get into the news and get all the details a chieftain of the People Democratic Party, PDP, a former commissioner of information in Edo State, Prince Kashim, has vowed to join forces with the All Progressive Congress, APC, to ensure the defeat of the state governor, Godwin Obaseki, in the September governorship election. In the September 19 governorship election. Now, wow, hey! So this is a PDP saying that he has pledged support to APC. He's still in PDP, he has not, he has not deflected or left to. He said he was pledging support to make sure that uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki does not win come September 19. Let's continue with the news. Commenting what he called the governor's desperation to run for the second term at all costs, the former commissioner came hard against his own party, wondering how Obaseki, a once branded failure suddenly merited the ticket so much so that all three aspirants stepped down for him we will join hands collectively with the apc candidates to ensure that governor gordon obaseki does not return i am a pdp member but i will but i will vote apc apc a man with humility pastor ize iyamu is better than the governor who fights everyone who disagree with himself Edo has become too politicalized over available and needless battle. Let us have a new leadership that will usher in quietness, peace for everyone. The noises from Obaseki's aspirants have become too popular and polluted and can no longer be the best interest of everyone in Edo State. According to him, Hon Honorable Omoroge Ihena, Ihema ought to have stuck to his guns by running in the primaries ra rather than stepping down for Governor Gordon Obaseki. He chickened out like a chicken. He hurt himself. PDP in many ways that is not like that. Honorable Moroge Ihema got swallowed up by the politics of money that has become the brand of Nigerian politicians. He was embarrassed by Governor Gordon Obaseki despite he was ready to see how much amounts road works the people has done to buy his aspiration and his position how can someone who did not buy nomination from anyone come out to be the consensus candidate my people the matter continues on and on you know this uh, uh, a pdp member said he is going to vote apc hmm. he was a former commissioner in a state 
He said he wants Eze Iyamu. Eze Iyamu is calm. Eze Iyamu is collected. Ah, my people, this is what is happening. You know. He has accused everybody. He's accusing everybody who has stepped down for Governor Gordon Obaseki that they have not done well. He said, how can PDP do that? That Governor Gordon Obaseki came from nowhere and has taken over the party, taken over everybody. He said he will do all he can. Can you see now? That, can you see what is happening? Hey, they said the enemy of a man is those from his own house, Sodo. It's the rats, the rat that is at home that went out to call the ones outside to say, come. We fry fish. If you understand that African proverb, he said the rat at home went outside to tell the other ones that this is what we have done at home. Come, come and eat. This is what is happening. This is a PDP member, a former commissioner in the state under the platform of PDP said the governors, the, the people we are aspiring should not have deflected, that Gordon Obaseki is desperate, and has said all kinds of words and all kinds of things, and said Governor Gordon Obaseki has not done anything, he has not worked for the people, yet he wants to become a governor. He said Governor Gordon Obaseki is making so much noise, you know? He said the people of Edo State don't want Governor Gordon Obaseki. I don't know if that is true. But people of Edo State, who do you really want? The ball is in your court. The voter cards are in your hand. Come September 19, it is your duty to go to the polls and vote the person you think will lead you in the next four years with integrity and honor. You have to stand by the side of truth. You have to stand by the side of, 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 of dignity and progress. What do we mean by that? If you don't stand on the side of truth, if you don't support good leadership, if you don't support what will make your life move forward, you are only mortgaging the life of your children and the life of your grandchildren. Why? Nigeria belongs to every one of us. Whatever state you are from, it belongs to you. And whatever they put in place will affect you. If they, even if you build, use, your, use gold to build your house and the roads are, are, are trouble, are disastrous. You would not drive in a good road to get to your house. You will go and drive in that uh, road that is, that, is, that is destructive, that can destroy your car to get to that house of gold. What about the school of your children? Even if you have money, you have to spend money. I tell you sincerely, overseas, the, the parents don't need to spend extra money for their children to get good quality education. Whether you are going to state school or you are going to uh, a private school uh, overseas, uh, in, in countries that there are, you know, the good democracy where uh, development is on, is on top of the game, whether you are going to a state school or you are going to uh, a private school, there is no difference. You both stand good opportunities in life to become great leaders of tomorrow, of your community, of your nation. That is what it is. It's only in Nigeria that the demarcation, the gap is so wide, the difference is so much. So if you don't stand on the side of good governance to put education in order, you will suffer it. You will work earn money, but you have to spend it. Either you send your children abroad and you know the risk of flight, the risk of uh, movement from road. You cannot get to the airport by trekking now. And, you, uh, and if, the place, if there is no good jobs for the young boys, some of them will get into bad companies. And that's where you have arm robbers, bandits, kidnappers, and what have you. So if, if you don't vote for good governance to create job opportunity, even if it's just lights, good electricity, People can engage by doing maybe online business. Those that are working, maybe uh, for organizers, they need lights. Even though they grind pepper, need lights to function. So what are we talking about? So we need good governance that will put electricity, priority. Education, priority. Good water, priority. You know, we need somebody who will help us put these things in place. We want it, we know how it should be done, but the system, it is what it is. You have to get a governor, you have to have a leader that will speak for you, that will stand in the front, that will, that will, that will, that will support, that will, that will initiate these ideas. And that's why they have commissioners, those in the other sectors that we're able to, you're able to bring suggestions and say, this is what we need at this time. This is what we need at this time. This is what the people are suffering for. These are the important things. These are the uh, priorities. Then we take them, we atomize them. What is, what is the most important to so the least important and we take them in orders of importance and begin to administer, you know, leadership and, you know, development. Hey, Edo State, the election is fierce. Get ready. Get ready. Why some people are for, some are against. Now, so life be. It is what it is. 
Anyway, don't forget to thumbs up for us. Leave us a comment. Subscribe. God bless you. We really appreciate you. Have a lovely and a wonderful day. Bye for now.